How are you, my friends? Again, this is uh, lecture number six in algebra course. You can find the lectures on the playlist called Algebra Course Lectures. This is lecture number six. It will cover scientific notation. This is a continuation of lecture number five. So five and six are the same topic, integer exponents and scientific notations. Let's see, what is a scientific notation? Scientific notation is, is a simple and efficient, easy way to write and compute very small numbers or very large numbers. Easy. So we have a number x, positive number x, x will be a times 10 to the power n, where a is between one closed and 10 open, which means this a can be any number, one, maybe 1, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1.7, maybe 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, until 9.99 cannot be 10. So less than 10 or equal to 1 or between them. N is integer. This integer can be positive or negative. Let's look here. Very simple, simple two examples. Look at the first one. Just listen to me, please. 0 0.00000003409. See, it looks ugly to read it like this. That's why we need scientific notation. Efficient and easy way to read the number. I can read the number. Let me read it again and just listen. 3.409 times 10 to the power minus 7. See, easy to read this one. So we move the decimal point to the right. See zero point, see one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I stop here. Why I stop at four, not, not 34? Because if you look at the rule here, that's the rule. A is a number times 10 to the power and A closed one less than 10, so 3.4 is a number between 1 and 10. I cannot stop at 34. 34 is bigger, bigger, bigger than 10. So when you move the decimal point to the right, you put a minus in the power. That means this number is very small number, tiny number. Now look at here, 207000000, big number. But where is the decimal point? It's after, after this zero, so this 1.0. So you move the decimal point to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I stop at two, not 20. 2.07 times 10 to the power eight. This is what we call scientific notation. So now easy to read, easy to use, easy to multiply, easy to divide. That's the whole idea in this lecture number six. Let's see some examples, nice, nice examples. We start with simple example. Write each number in scientific notation. 56920, very simple, you can write it. Or 0 0.000093, small number, write it in scientific notation. I think this is so easy. Now, I mentioned here, 56920 is 0. 0.0. See the point 0 here, we don't have to write it. So you move the decimal point here to the left. One, two, three, four. So 5.692 times 10 to the power four, finished. Now this is one number. You can have in the same question, two numbers, three numbers, you multiply, you divide. We see after a few seconds or minutes. Now 0. 0.000093. Let's move the decimal point to the right. One, two, three, four, five. See, I stop at nine because nine is less than 10. I will show you again the formula here. Please remember the A, the number here, should be one closed, so it can be one. 
less than 10. So one point something we can have until less than 10. Okay, now this is the opposite, which is a lot easier. Write each number in decimal. 6.97 times 10 to the power nine. So now we have, this is a big number, positive exponent means big number. You move the decimal point here, 10 digits, and this is on the left because this is a negative power. So these are very simple. So this is 6970, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here you move the decimal point to the left. So you get 0 0.00004627. Let's take now nice questions, I think. Now we have three numbers together. We need to use the scientific notation here and the laws of exponents. That's why lecture five and six are combined together. Remember lectures five and six are together. One about laws of exponents and one about scientific notation. Now look here, please. You can pause the video now, please, if you can. 0 0.00000032 times 22,000 over 0 0.00000011. And see what can you get as the final answer in scientific notation. See, give me the final answer in scientific notation, simple, easy to read. Let's see what can we do here. I advise you, if you did, it's okay. I advise you change this one to scientific notation. See this one here? Everyone actually, this one and this one. So you have three numbers, some number multiplied by the number divided by another number. I advise you to change or convert each number in scientific notation, write it in scientific notation. Then it's easy to cancel and easy to multiply the uh, base 10 to the power something. Let's see if you get the answer here. Anyone get this answer? 6.4 times 10 to the power three. Let's see how did we get the answer. First one, 0 0.00000032. So this we move seven places, the decimal point, 3.2 times 10 to the power minus seven. That's the first one. Here, one, two, three, four, 2.2 times 10 to the power four. That's a big number here, 22,000. Uh, now I move the decimal point to the right here, 1.1 times 10 to the power minus six. See, I can see here 2.2, 1.1. See, when you cancel these, 2.2, 1.1. Usually, if you have a calculator, you can multiply 3.2 times 2.2 divided by 1.1. If you don't have a calculator, cancel this and this. That will be two here. Because 2.2 divided by 1.1 is two. Now, too easy to multiply by 3.2, which will be 6.4. Now, look at the powers here. Minus 4, uh, minus 7, and 4. I will add here. See, in the numerator, I will add. See, this is addition here. Minus, because that's in the denominator, minus, minus 6. So, minus 7 plus 4 plus 6. 10 minus 7, 3. So 6.4 times 10 to the power 3. I think, yeah, another, oh boy. Very nice question here. We have V is given already in scientific notation. It's good. W is given already in scientific notation. P is given already in scientific notation. Find the value of P divided by V plus W. So you add V and W and then in the numerator and then P divided by that value. Give the answer in scientific notation. Please try this one minute, two minutes as you like on a piece of paper, it's better. And then compare the answer with the next slide. Did you finish? 
Okay, let's go. Now, did you get 2.0 times 10 to the power 15? I hope you get this answer. 2.0 times 10 to the power 15. Let's see, P is there, 8.6 times 10 to the 10. V, you see this one here, V, you have to add. So when you add, little trick here, here we have 10 power minus five, you cannot add directly. You have to make it 10 to the power minus five. So that will be two here. You move the decimal on one point. So uh, this is the same power here. You take it common factor, same power. Then you add two and 2.3, which will be 4.3. So 8.6 divided by 4.3 is two. And here we have 10 minus minus five. You see 10, because you divide here, 10 minus minus five, 15, power 15 here, 2.0 times 10, to, little tricky maybe, I don't know, maybe medium question. Now, this is as usual, try at home. Try at home means you try at home this is four numbers, multiplication and division. This is a squared divided by 130. Also, you have to use laws of exponents and the scientific notation. Now, as usual, I put only the answers for try at home most of the time. If you need the detailed solution, the detailed, how did we get these answers? You have to go to another video on scientific notation, extra questions or integer exponents, extra questions. Now, this is another example here. Yeah, okay, nice example. E, 90 squared times 0 0.00003. This is F, 3 million. Find the value of E over F. Same idea, but I put some nice numbers here. See, in the E, I put 90 squared times this number here. And then you have to write all E up here. And then F is down. Find the value of this division E over F in scientific notation. Please take a minute, pause the video, try it on a piece of paper. I advise you, this is example number nine, lecture number six in algebra course. Let's see. The answer you should get is 8.1 times 10 to the power minus eight. Eight point one times 10 to the power minus eight. Let, let's see, let's see what we can do. E 90 squared, what is 90 squared? 90 times 90. See 90 times 90 is 81 times 10 squared, 8,100. Uh, 0.00003, so three to the power minus five. One, two, three, four, five, yes. This one, a three million three times 10 to the power six. So it's easy now to cancel three and three. You see that one, easy? Cancel three and three, leave eight to one. And then here we add the power, two minus five, we add them. See, it looks here multiplication, subtraction, but here two and minus five already in the numerator, the power two and the power minus five, you add them. So you get minus three. Now you subtract because we are dividing here, 10 to the power minus three, 10 to the power six, you subtract minus three minus six becomes minus nine. Now this is not in scientific notation because 81 is bigger than 10. So you have to put 8.1 times 10 to the power minus eight. Now lecture, as I mentioned, lecture five and six are combined together. So when I finish the whole topic, the whole topic integer exponent, you will find some practice questions. Find the answer for this, find the answer for this, use the exponents. These practices, practice number one, practice number two,
practice number three, you replace A minus one B half in the expression practice number four, practice number five. And then the answers here only for lectures five and six. If you need the detailed solution of these five questions, please go and visit the video on integer exponents, extra questions. And then I would like to thank you for watching. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Just to remind you, this is lecture number six in algebra course. Thank you very much.